Hey there creepy peeps and welcome to another new movie review. You may have noticed that this is up on a Monday instead of a Saturday. I'm kind of starting to slowly shift to the schedule I want to be on once I'm done with school. Uh, <laughs> so I'm kind of shifting everything over a little bit and then all else will be made clear in August. I don't know if that was the right way to say that. Um, I'll kind of unveil the whole schedule, my whole plan for my intended permanent schedule in August, but um, I'm kind of just shifting it now because I feel like it's just gonna be a little bit easier on me as I'm finishing up school and things might get a little bit hectic. Um, right, so anyways, I saw Wish Upon this weekend, which is about a unpopular girl who uh, happens to receive this mysterious Chinese wish box that grants her heart's desires at a deadly price every time she makes a wish somebody close to her or somebody that has come into contact with her dies so let's get right into what i liked about it which was the ending obviously i'm not going to talk about specifics because it just only came out this weekend so if you plan on seeing it i'm not going to spoil anything but i like the ending the ending kind of redeemed most of the movie for me a little bit because I was expecting it but not at the same time. It happened very abruptly uh, without giving anything away. It really kind of makes you question how the movie is going to end before it ends very abruptly um, but I enjoyed it. I like the end. Um, and the deaths were cool for a PG-13 movie. Some of them were a little bit a little bit jarring a little bit not too brutal but surprisingly brutal like I wasn't expecting that as it was rated PG-13 so let's get right into what I didn't like about it because there's a whole lot more of that um, <laughs> obviously I'm sure even if you haven't seen it just hearing the brief summary of it we've seen this excuse my dogs we've seen this type of story tons of times an unpopular boy or girl wants to be popular and by some supernatural means they get their wish or wishes granted but it's not what they expected oh, seriously daisy just ignore her i'm gonna talk over her. i'm not gonna sit here and wait for her to shut up because she won't um so like i was saying it never turns out like they expected and then they learn a valuable lesson about you know wanting to be popular and just being themselves that sort of thing and it reminded me of the craft in a lot of ways i found myself uh maybe it's just because i watched it recently or something i just found myself thinking about it i mean it kind of has similar themes to it you know uh especially because you know not only is there a blood price to be paid for the wishes that our main character Claire is making? Um, they all kind of tend to come back and bite her in the ass a little bit, kind of like in the craft, you know, like the rule of three comes into play, you know, what the the girls put out there comes back to them threefold. K kind of the same concept going on here in Wish Upon. So not only do people around her start dying, um, the wishes kind of come back to bite her in the ass a little bit. Um, like I said, it's not, it ends up not being what she expected and she's not happy. Blah, blah, blah. We've heard this all before. Um, <laughs> and as it is a, I hate saying this because I feel like I sound like such a prick when I do. Um, <laughs> as with typical mainstream PG-13 horror releases, the movie is riddled with predictable jump scares you know where they bring the volume down real low and all of a sudden <laughs> the music just like swells smacks you in the face and everybody jumps because it's super loud noise when it was really quiet and it's not a genuine scare anyways <laughs> it's you know riddled with those type of scares so I, the movie wasn't really scary 
at all, <laughs> especially if you are a horror fanatic, an avid horror fan, you're gonna be able to see those scares coming a mile away. I'm gonna go ahead and recommend that you shouldn't watch Wish Upon only because it's nothing you haven't seen before. Honestly, it really doesn't bring anything new to the table in terms of this story. Um, nothing wrong with like recycled fables and things like that. I mean, we see them in movies countless times. Like how many times has like the Romeo and Juliet story been played out, you know, whether it's been called Romeo and Juliet or not, you know, we've seen that story a million times. Same thing with this. I have no problem with that per se, but it doesn't bring anything new to the table in my opinion. So it's nothing you haven't seen before. Um, so I'm going to give this a rating of two mystical Chinese wish death boxes out of five. Um, <laughs> definitely don't plan on seeing this again. Definitely not going to purchase it. Don't recommend that you watch it. Uh, unless you really, really want to, then by all means go have fun. Um, <laughs> so on IMDb right now, it's sitting at a 4.7 out of 10. Mm, eh, that's not too bad. Um, Rotten Tomatoes <laughs> has a 19% critic score with a 36% audience score which I skimmed the reviews really quick and it seems to kind of be all the same like predictable you know it's predictable that's like the one one sentence review of Wish Upon predictable um and Roger Ebert unsurprisingly gives it a one out of four um so if you've seen Wish Upon already let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about it as always feel free to suggest other movie review Feel free to suggest other movies you'd like me to review or just that <laughs> or just suggest oh god or just suggest other video ideas in general if you want um if you're new here subscribe i give up until next time stay strange bye